P-R-O-V-O, Provo, Utah, which is like an hour or 45 minutes away from the airport. So the free, you do not have to be a member to join this meetup, guys. Completely free. We have food. We have people. This I, I want to keep telling you guys that MIC is more than just a trading community, although that's our main focus, stocks and investments. But it's also a social and professional networking club. Where else can you meet cool people like yourselves, um, goal-oriented, that talk about the markets? You know, this is not like meeting guys at the club. You know, this is different than the gym. This is like at our age, you know, <laughs> where can you meet people like us, right? Goal-oriented, good, solid people. So that's why I keep telling you guys, this is like the country club for the everyday man. Okay, guys? So when you join, it's not just, you know, about stocks, which is about stocks. But, dude, think about this, man. This is a club. You guys are paying hundreds of dollars to join a gym or to join some other social networking club. Stupid. What do you get out of it? Not much. But here you get, you know, stocks, mentorship, great people, meetups, all this. So make sure you guys attend. This will change your life. I guarantee you guys it will change your life, man. If not anything, you meet great people and, you know, you, you, you see a side of the United States you've never seen. I thought Utah was a bunch of stupid stuff, but it's actually very cool, man. Um, beautiful mountains, uh, crisp air, uh, just great people. So that's why we're coming back to Utah. And that's the information is on myinvestingclub.com slash meetup. Okay, guys, free, 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 free. Uh, let me see what else is there. You're around, Alex? I guess Alex is trading this. <laughs> B, 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 Y. So I want to talk about that, man. I've seen people blowing up, man. I see people blow up. Uh, they leave MIC. They, sadly, I don't want to talk about names, but dude, I see it all the time today. I think someone blew up on BBBY short. They left MIC. They said they can't learn anything from them. They join another community. They blow up. Like, dude, I keep telling you guys, man, risk management is the one thing that's keeping me alive for two decades, okay? I'm here making money. I've been on a green streak for... Half a month now, not gonna work, right? You know, I mean, I'm, today is a hard day. I'm green on today. I green. I was great yesterday, um, but that's not the point. The point is risk management, man. It's not how much you make necessarily. It's how much you keep. You can make money every single day, five days in a row, ten days in a row, but that one day that you lose, so many people blow up their entire account, and that's why I want to talk to you guys about. Okay, I want to talk to you about how to keep your fucking money. You know, you have to. I, I'm like a broken record talking about stop losses, talking about hard stops, talking about max daily loss, auto liquidation at the broker level. This is why we partner up with Success Trader, okay? Because we have all that is at Success Trader, okay? When you open up, when you open an account, the first thing we do is tell you to set up a max daily loss auto liquidation. So I'll tell you what that auto liquidation is, okay? Uh, max daily loss doesn't really help you. It helps because it stops you from trading. You hit a certain maximum loss, like a profit on the day, like an unrealized uh, loss, and the system will block you. You cannot add any more. But unless you have auto liquidation, the position is still there. So I used to have. So I tried. I, I you know, I'm the, I'm, you know, it's very hard for me to get stopped out because I don't want to get stopped out. I have a big account, I have big money, and I don't want to fucking lose, right? No one wants to fucking lose. So we keep adding to a loser, all these bad habits. And what happens is this, you know, um, four out of five times, you get out of that position by adding into a loser. Adding to the loser, you get out. You know, but, but I always say this, man. When you break a rule and do something like that, you, and when you win, you win the minimum. But when you lose, you will lose the fucking maximum, which is your entire fucking account. And this is why we're saying keep the good habits. Revenge trading, adding two losses may work four out of five times. But the problem is that fifth time, you will blow up your entire account. Because you will add to infinity and you will get wiped out. And this is why we keep telling you to do the max lady loss. But, the, but, it, but that's not enough. You have to do the auto liquidation because the auto liquidation will take you out. It will force you to cover and exit and sell your position. Otherwise, you will hold on to that position praying it go down. So how many times did that happen? You know, you, you run out of buying power. <laughs> you, add, you, know, you, you add as much as you want to a loser. And you run, you're out of buying power. And now you're holding on to that loser. And now you just doubled and tripled your loss. And that's what the auto liquidation does. It takes you out of the position. It forces you to get the hell out. And not only that, I tell my broker, once I get auto liquidated, once I hit my max day loss on that ticker, I'm done on that ticker. I cannot go back on that ticker. 
Okay? So these are the risk parameters that I've set for myself, which has kept me alive. And this is why, knock on wood, you're never going to blow up if you set it up correctly. Because you cannot go back to that ticker. That kick, like you're fighting Mike Tyson. What do you do? You take a break and come back and get kicked again? No, dude. You, you chill the hell out. You run away. And you come back to fight another day. And that's the auto liquidation, okay? And that's with Success Trader, you can do all this, okay, guys? So I, I see people blow up left and right because they do not have proper risk management. Another proper risk management is stock selection. I Today was pretty much easy going day for me, man. I, I mean, I was up green, nice green within the first 15 minutes. That's because I didn't touch these meme stocks. I didn't touch BBBY. I didn't touch all those crazy-ass stocks. You know, GME just went ballistic now. You know, all these stocks are just going nuts. There is no edge for me. I'm sticking to my niche, guys. These 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 hot stocks of the day, the hot chicks, the shiny new object, those will make you go broke. If you are a long bias trader, go ahead though. That is your edge. Okay? If you're a long bias trader, your edge is on day one of these crazies that are blowing up the stupid ass short sellers. The amateur short sellers that are fucking have no risk management will blow the hell up. Okay, guys? And so, for a long buy trade, take advantage of that. Go along these stocks. Okay? For a short seller, I took them off my screen. Because of the fact I took them off my screen, dude, I'm just chilling. I ain't give a fuck. Okay? So what if it goes down three bucks? Three bucks is what? Less than 10%? I mean, I can make like 20% on a small cap. No stress. I can trade 10 of those. Versus focusing on one position. One BBBY short and losing my ass. So, discipline, discipline, discipline to, to adhere to risk management. Risk management does not, is not only about P&L. It's about stock selection. It's about not over trading. It's about picking the easy guy to kick ass. Why am I fighting Mike Tyson when I can beat up some little scrub, right? And so that's what it is, man. I'm like, so let, let me go through some charts, man. Just to show you, okay? Hold on. All right, what we got here, guys? AM, let me see, what's a good one? So let me see what I just covered. Okay, look at this, man, REBN. Look at this shit. REBN. Dude, look at how fucking sick this is. This was a pump from a chat room. Shorted it. Went down, covered all the way down, dude. This is fucking sick. Five dollars down to like low force, and then what I do? Reshort the pop, covered the bottom. Zombie hour comes, get the fuck out. Zombie hour rules. No, notice it's zombied. If you are a long buy trader, go longer zombie hour. Look, zombied. It's zombied up fifty cents, dude. Boom. So what I did? I just waited for the outer lines. This line worked in the morning. Same exact shit, dude. Same shit. This line worked fucking all day. Then, boom. Candle down. Cover, cover, cover. Now I'm chilling. No fucking stress. Why am I messing with BBBY? Right, guys? Let me see what else I got here, guys. Let me see what I got here. AMTD. Another one. Went a little further than I thought, but covered down. The bounce covered down. I'm doing the same shit I'm doing every single day, guys. Same fucking shit every fucking single day. Same shit every day. Let me see what else is there. I-Z-E-A. I mean, dude, I'm just doing the same boring ass shit, guys. R-L. Here's an interesting one, guys. Doing my channel trades. Top tick every single wick, covered all the way down three, four times. Try to do the fifth time. It said, nah, 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 it teleported and tried to kick my ass, but I covered half, I stopped out half in time and then did another candle up, which I covered the rest here. And then I reshorted it, walked all the way down. I'm doing the same process every freaking day, guys. That's, that's, and the beauty is this, the beauty is this, guys. The beauty is you have stocks like BBBY, GME, taking all the attention. So all of the money flow that we talk about in MIC is going to these meme stocks. 
which makes it very difficult for these other stocks to get attention. Stocks need volume for it to go up. Without volume, it's very difficult because it has to be bought up, right? So it's like a freaking attention whore. <laughs> you know? Right now, the attention whore is BBBY. Holy shit, it went all the way up. We fucking kill people right now. It trapped again, went all the way up. So all the attention is going to BBBY, the attention whore right there. So what I'm doing, I'm just picking on the easy target, you guys. Here I am on small caps, sticking to my niche. Making fucking money, guys. No joke. Let me see what I'm doing here. Let me see how I cover some more shit. Let me see what that guy's. Mm. Uh. Mm. All right. Okay. So I'm doing well today, guys. You know, make my... Make my boring ass fucking money every day. Boring ass fucking money. But you know, when you trade correctly, guys, your heart rate should not be like out of your chest. You know, it's boring. Making money every day is boring, to be honest. Because you know why? I'm doing the same repeatable pattern every single day. My process is the same every day. Boring ass fucking hell. Okay? It's not about the money anymore. It's about if you trade right, if you stick to your process and you have a winning strategy and a winning process, it will yield the proper results. Do not focus on the P&L. Focus on trading properly to adhere to your process. It's simple as hell. The guys in MIC see me on charts every day. You know what's funny? <laughs> I think they stopped clicking like on it because it's, it's so boring. It's like, okay, it's expected. Bow's going to fucking top tick this shit, fucking short and make money. Right, guys? It's, it's like, oh, Bow's in the Matrix again. I'm not in the Matrix, guys. I'm fucking, I'm just following my process. My process is the Matrix. If I stick to the process and I'd be, and I'm patient, I, I'm in the Matrix I, because the process is in the Matrix. You know what I'm saying, guys? So that's what you do, guys. So you guys need to attend this meetup. I'm telling you right now. So when you go there, I'm going to show you the secrets of doing all this stuff, guys. I mean, shit. Free to attend all that. So any last questions, guys? I want to take some questions before I log off. Where do we decide to cover trend, okay? I We came up with the concept. The simplest concept is lines, okay? Resistance, support, pivot, all these lines. So take a look at our YouTube channel. Do me a favor, guys. When you see Twitter... Click like, please, because it helps the algos. Uh, click like on YouTube. Click like on Instagram. All you, all you guys have been just checking us out. All I ask, this is fucking free. All I ask is to click like, please, so, so just so that we can get some traction, man. You know, because instead of having these pumpers get all the likes. Okay, any questions, guys? All these guys are fucking blowing up today. I mean, I, so people saying this is a hard market. I mean, it's the same fucking market, guys. You follow your process, the same fucking market. These guys are blowing up because they have no fucking risk management. We talk about um, in, in, insider ownership. Is it's called? Uh, it's actually institutional ownership. Okay, so that's more important than insider ownership, in my opinion. We have classes on all this too. So, uh, the higher the institutional ownership, the the more. The stock is going to be protected by the institution. So like a stock like Apple, it's going to be very hard to kill because it, every single institution owns Apple. What is my risk reward? It, dude, it, it, you always talk about adding to lose all that, dude. Dude, if, there's many different trading systems, guys. You saw my charts. I don't fucking... I don't trade the fucking the risk reward kind of thing. You know, you can do that if you want. It's up to you, man. All it is is pre-planning. I pre-plan my fucking trades. It looks like I'm adding to loser. No, dude. I have I have a big position I want. I'm not a fucking... I'm not buying 100 shares. I'm not having one order of fucking 10,000 shares there. I need to scale that shit out. And so that's why you see me add. I'm scaling. I'm scaling. Because you know what? I'm not putting 10,000 fucking shares in one fucking order. What else, guys? Ask some questions. I'll give you guys a couple minutes, and then I'm going to head off, and I'll see you guys at the meetup, okay? Um, the information on meetup is on our Twitter page, uh, My Investing Club, or the Modern underscore Rock. No, you don't need to sell up, guys. I, I, I post all the time. Keep your sizes small, because when you keep your sizes small, you know, you're, not, you're, you're trading properly. You're not getting squeezed out. Uh, small size, wide stops is what I, I recommend. And you'd be surprised, guys. Build your fucking bankroll before you size up. Be consistent. The blueprint for $1,000 days begins with $100 days. The blueprint for $5,000 days begins with, you know, 
My, I'm, I'm averaging over five thousand dollars a day the past few weeks. So I mean, dude, it's not that bad. I don't post a PL, but dude, you know, I think charts are more important. You guys can deduce. You know, my my whole point is like, who gives a fuck how much I make, guys? I I make more than you, obviously. But I mean, <laughs> um, I don't want to talk about that shit. But you take a look at the fucking charts, guys. I don't fucking sit here and fucking trade for free, okay? Um, the point is, if you trade the process right, the share size is up to you. You know, you can have a thousand share size, you'd have five thousand share size, okay? Um, it's all up to you. But if you take a look at my charts, I want to show the process. I'm giving out fucking free information here, guys. Uh, that's why I want to stop. At some point, I'm going to be tired of Twitter. Twitter is a piece of shit. You know, a bunch of trolls and stuff. So, But I, I like you guys. I like helping people. I've been on Twitter for like fucking forever. I've been helping people for like forever. So trolls won't stop me. Um, if you are a troll, join MIC's meetup, guys. I will gladly meet you face to face. You think I'm a pussy. Come, yeah, come, come and fucking stick your finger in my pussy. <laughs> but um, anyways, guys, any, any other questions, guys? I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I want to make sure you guys go to the meetup. I give you guys very valuable information here. A couple more, couple more questions and I'll log off. Those that see value, you guys are going to be successful. Those that are just fucking being a dick because they are losers, you know, I can't help them, man. I try to help everybody, but sometimes in life, guys, you got to help yourself. Um, there's a lot of free information that we give out there. But, you know, man, this is... you. <laughs> Man, we, I spent my entire life trading, guys. Um, there's certain fucking shit that I don't, I don't want to reveal to the world for free. Uh, when people ask, why do you charge you big money? Why does fucking Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk charge when they're fucking rich? Because they can. They got rich because they charge. Not, nothing valuable is free. You're, you, mean, you must be a dumb fuck to think that, that there's free information out there that's going to make you billions of dollars. Hell fucking no. You fucking... You must be a fucking communist or a socialist. It's like, it's, it's capitalism, bro. <laughs> you know, if you want to learn uh, how to do uh, management, you go, you pay fucking $150,000 a year to go to a Harvard Business School. If you want to be the top doctor, you're paying $100,000 a fucking year to go to the top medical school. You think the medical school is free? <laughs> if you want packages to come overnight, you pay for prime shipping. At Amazon. You think that's free? Why are you complaining to Jeff Bezos that, hey, you got so much money, Jeff. Why are you fucking charging me to watch um, Amazon in 4K? <laughs> so I, so today I just paid another $20 a month or some fucking shit to watch uh, Netflix on 4K. <laughs> I'm like, why? I thought Netflix is rich, dude. This is the, the, the most stupid question is ever. If anybody asks, if you make money, why do you charge? Those guys are losers. I'm telling you right now, man. No, nothing good is for free in this world, guys. You get fucking, <laughs> but anyways, guys, I appreciate this. I, uh, if you want to talk to me further, you know where to find me. If you want to meet up with me in person, come to the meetup. If you're a troll, you hater, I'm welcome to meet you anytime in, in face. No one needs to know that I kicked your ass. <laughs> uh, might be a funny guy, but I whoop your ass. No, nah, but uh, anyways, I'm just joking around, guys. Maybe, maybe not, but I love you all. I'll see you guys in Utah, um, and that's it, man. I'll see you guys later.